I'm Dr. Yoni Witten, and today we're talking about feet. Now, if you've got chronic foot pain or knee pain or iliotibial band syndrome, you're going to want to pay close attention because I'm going to talk to you about one super common condition that nobody's talking about that contributes to bunions, hammer toes, heel pain, IT band syndrome, runner's knee, and a host of other problems in the body. Now, let's get into this. The structure of the foot contains some pretty impressive architecture, including three separate secondary curves that make up that normal arch structure that we're supposed to have. Now, this arch is responsible not only for shock absorption, but for recycling as much as 60% of your energy when you're walking or running or when you're in motion. This energy conservation is essential for us to be able to perform the way that we're supposed to as human beings. Now, when you lose the normal arch structure in your foot and your foot begins to flatten out, you're at risk for a host of problems, which you can see listed here. Now, if you struggle with any of those things, first thing that you need to figure out is, do you have that normal arch in your foot? I'm gonna show you one quick test for how to figure out whether you've got that normal arch, and it's called the tunnel slide test. To perform the tunnel slide test, just stand on a firm surface. Make sure that your weight is evenly distributed between your two feet. From here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your index finger and you're gonna slide it under the highest point of this inside arch of your foot, just like this. You're gonna slide it in until you can't go any further. You're then gonna take your opposite hand and measure along the edge of your foot right up to your finger. Take that out and see where the measurement is. What you're looking for here is about that line where the first pad of your finger is, that would represent a normal amount of arch in the foot. If you, if you find after performing the tunnel slide test that you can only fit half a pad or even a quarter pad of your finger underneath the arch of your foot, you very likely had a deterioration in the normal secondary curve in your foot. You've lost some of that impressive architecture, which means your foot can't function the way that it's supposed to. That means that every time you take a step or walk or run or jump, the impact is not being absorbed in your foot. It's being transferred to the ankle and the knee and the hip and up to your pelvis and your lower back at a much higher level than it would otherwise be. So what I wanna show you now is a simple taping strategy that you can use to help restore the normal secondary curve into your foot. The only things that you're gonna to need to take advantage of this technique are a chair to sit in and a roll of rock tape. Once you've got those two things, just take a seat let me give you a quick anatomy lesson so that you can get the right length of tape for this application. You need to find the bony bump here on the outside of your ankle called the lateral malleolus. And then you need to find the corresponding bony bump on the inside of the ankle called the medial malleolus. Now, once you've got those two spots, the last thing that you need to find is just the center portion here, the arch of your foot. You're going to take your roll of rock tape and extend it three inches above that bony bump on the outside of your ankle then going to stretch it around the arch of your foot and come to a spot three inches above the bony bump on the inside of your ankle. You're then going to measure and cut right along that line. Once you've got the right length of tape cut for this application, just take a look here at the diagram that I've drawn. You're going to start where you see the number one right above this bony bump on the inside of your ankle. You're going to come around the outside of your foot. Everywhere that you see in blue is going to be laid down with no stretch. So you're going to take your tape, tear a tab about three inches from the end, and you're going to lay that tape down right there, like I said, with no stretch. You're going to take the back of the tape, rub to activate the adhesive, and then you're going to come to the other side here and start peeling that backing away, angled down just along that arrow. just like that. And what I like to do is rub that down. Make sure you get a good attachment before you round the corner here on the bottom of your foot. From there, you're going to come up right along the arch of the foot. No stretch until you get to the middle part of your arch right there. Lay that down. Then you're going to begin stretching right along that red arrow, up and around the outside of the foot, approximately 20% stretch on the tape, 
and you're going to finish right where you see the number two. Lay that tape down with 20% stretch, except at the last two inches or three inches of tape that you get there. That gets laid down with no stretch at all. Take your tape back, rub to activate the adhesive. You see that the tape is smooth and even and there's no creases or wrinkles in it. And always notice that you've got the edges rounded. That's gonna make sure that the tape stays on way longer. So what you've got is almost like a figure eight situation here where it's coming underneath the foot and you're pulling up 20% stretch along that whole inside, tugging that arch structure back into the foot. Now, as always, when we're working with these taping strategies, it's important that your skin is clean and dry and that it's free of lotions, creams, and moisturizers. This is gonna make sure that the tape stays on as long as possible and that you get the most bang for your buck out of your rock tape applications. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you'll put the information to good use. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated on the new videos that I put out each week to help you achieve the best posture and mobility of your life. And if you're struggling with chronic knee pain or hip pain or back pain, you've gotta check out the Pain Fix Protocol. This is the new science for permanently resolving these problems. I'm gonna include links for the Pain Fix Protocol and for Rock Tape in the description down below, and I'll see you guys next week.